In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a unified access point into an existing network. Hey guys, this is AJ, the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I have a series where we're talking about how to set up a whole unified network. But I know I had a couple of comments of people saying, hey, we're not in a point to redo the entire network or get all these devices and all this other stuff. So do you already have a network that was provided by the provider, your ISP, or something else? So I'm going to show you how to. you can still utilize some of these access points and put them in your network to expand the Wi-Fi in your church or your home or wherever else. And it really is a lot simpler than you may think. So let's head upstairs and let's get near a computer. All right, so I have an AC light that I'm actually going to be setting up for another client. So I'm actually just going to be setting this up in the future for them. So let's see what's inside. This is kind of difficult with one hand. Hold on. All right. So we got a little advertisement for future products. The actual access point. A mounting block for a drywall, which I will be using this. The PoE injector, which is a gigabit, gigabit injector, and it actually this detaches because it's a wall mount. So you can mount this to the wall. Some screws and the power adapter. So let me go ahead and plug this up and all you really need is, it does not come with um, ethernet cables. So I already had two laying around. You will need two, for one for the PoE and then another one for the LAN connection. So I'm going to be, and I guess I removed it. I thought I had a network jack over here, but I'm, I guess I'm gonna have to plug it in over there. All right, you just got to be mindful of which connection goes where. The PoE connection goes to the device. The LAN one goes into your network. So I'm just going to be plugging into my switch here. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so that's plugged into the LAN here. And now we're just going to plug the end for the access point into here. And we will see it power up. See it lit up, and that's really all you got to do with this. So let's go ahead and cut over to my tablet so we can show you how to set this up without connecting to anything. Now, I want to let you know that I actually do have the Unify controller and everything set up here in the church, but I am not going to be utilizing that at all. So I have a bunch of access points here in the church, but like I said, we're not going to be using that. We're going to be setting this up separately. All right, now on your phone or tablet, what you need to do is go to the equivalent app store. I'm on a Android tablet and you want to want to go here and we want to just look up Unify, which I already have in my history, and we want to install the Unify Networks. Um, program which I already have installed. All right, so if I go here, we're going to open this up. Now you want to make sure whatever you're connected to, um, it's two ways you can do this. Like I have this already connected to a network, but you can connect to this without any network at all. All right. So what we'll do is let's go ahead and agree to that. And so what it's going to do now that I'm on the network, we're going to go over to devices. Now it's going to, as long as you're in range of where the device is, it will pick this up. So let's give it a second to see if it detects anything. All right. So, but if this does not show up, you can always do connect to AP 
and you can scan the QR code on the back, which is what I'm gonna do in this one. Let's give it access and let's go look at the back of the access point. So we just flip this over. And now we'll scan that ID. Alright. Give it permission here. So it's gonna, so it's gonna try and connect to the actual um, pre-installed settings that come with the access point. All right, so it shows up here, gives me the settings that came back from the access point because it didn't automatically connect. So I could put that in, but if I come back here, you can see that it actually finally picked up the access point. So I'm just gonna, and it gave me the IP address. I'm just gonna tap on that. Now, here are all our settings. Now, for the client I'm actually doing this for, I installed a computer there, so I had to get on that Wi-Fi, which that's how we found out the Wi-Fi wasn't fast enough to actually connect to it. So I took a picture of their stuff. So what we're gonna do is come in here, go to configuration, and the default password is UBNT, username and password UBNT. And I don't want to do that right now. So I'm here right now in the settings. Let's get rid of here. So what we're going to do is come in here and put the SSID to the exact same thing as the router. So I have this picture from my client. So we're just going to put in the same access ID. And then we're going to use the same password that they had as well too. That way when somebody who already has access comes into the vicinity of this access point, it will automatically connect them and they don't have to change because the way an access point works is like you just remove the cable from the, I mean the Wi-Fi from the router and placed it in another area which is way better than an extender. An extender has to connect to the original Wi-Fi and then rebroadcast it. This is the, the exact original Wi-Fi that's just being placed in a different area. All right, so we got it there. And sometimes if it's not updated, you'll need to update the firmware, which uh, I would have it here, but I already did that ahead of time. So when I factory reset it, it just got rid of the settings, but it kept the latest firmware. All right, so we got everything to match with the existing client. So all we have to do now is just do apply settings, and that's gonna take a little bit, but once that's done, I'm gonna show you what the network is showing up as. All right, settings have been applied. And let's see, are we connected to that new Wi-Fi? No, I'm connected to the churches here. Yep. Go to our Wi-Fi and do we see that new access point? And there it is. So what I'm gonna do is put in that code. Oh, and it already did, so boom, there we go connected now that was not with an access point nothing like that so I'm gonna cut over to let me log into here and I want to show what it looks like to be on this controller because like I said we have this set up here at my church so let me so now what I'm gonna do is re-log back into this so we can see the network that's been established here at the church. And I wanna see how this controller shows up. All right, so I'm here on our um, unified controller. So I wanna look at devices. And as you can see, this is the access point that we just set up. I don't want to adopt this because this is a standalone device where this is gonna be installed. Now, if I was installing a unified controller, there I would just let that control this but again this was showing how this could be standalone without all this and it just plugs into your existing router 
So you see it shows up, but it will show up as a client as well too, which is right here, which is completely fine. I don't want to block it. All right, and that's pretty much it. Now the only thing I do need to do is because I'm noticing that the lights are not on, I want to turn the LEDs on so that way we can make sure that people can know when it's on. Now the one thing I forgot to do was to change the default username and password in the standalone device and that's what I just went ahead and did. Unfortunately I had to go ahead and reset it again but the app on my tablet actually kept all the settings so even though I reset it it was able to push everything back after I changed that password. So as you can see I have the LED on so pretty much the only thing I have left to do is to just pick where I'm gonna hang this and that's about it. So that is a very simple and easy way to expand your Wi-Fi um, which will be miles <laughs> and way better than an extender because literally this device is gonna act just like the, the Wi-Fi on your router wherever you decide to place it. You just have to run an ethernet cable up to about 300 feet. <laughs> That's how far I can go and you can place this anywhere. So I'm actually going to be hanging this from a drop ceiling, but other places um, I've set it up on a table, set it on a wall. It all depends wherever you want to place it. So I hope that helps. There'll be a link in the description for each one. There are affiliate codes on those. So we get a small kickback from when you purchase one of those. But anyway, that's how we able to support and continue to grow this channel. So if you like this type of content, I would appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video. Later.